Welcome back! In this video we're going to talk about function composition and we're going to just get a little comfortable with composing functions and decomposing functions. I'm not really sure if that's a thing but that's what I'm calling it so that we can feel really confident with function composition. So the main idea here is that functions can be composed, which is like combining them, by making one function the input of another. There is surely a more formal mathematical way to talk about this. I'm giving this video as mostly a review of these concepts. So if we have a function f and a function g, we're going to make g the input to f. So when we do this, we make a new function f of g of x. It can also be written as f circle g of x. And we read this, as I've already said, f of g of x. So basically we have the function g on the inside, it takes in an input x, then that function becomes the new input for f. So the input of the function f is the function g. So let's try this with an example to see what this looks like. So let's say that I have f of x equals x squared and g of x equals 4x minus 6. Then what is f of g of x? So what we want to do is compose or combine f and g. So we're doing f of g of x and we start with that input g. So the function g is 4x minus 6. So I'm doing f of 4x minus 6. And to help you out here, just notice that f is a function that takes in an input and what it does to that input is it squares it. So f of something equals that something squared. So here I have f of 4x minus 6. So this is equal to 4x minus 6 squared. There we go. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say this time I have k of x equals cosine of x and j of x equals e to the x. So we're gonna find k of j of x and j of k of x. So we're just composing it both ways is what's going on. So you can pause if you want and give this a shot. I'm gonna jump right in though. So we're gonna do k of j of x j of x is e to the x, so I'm doing k of e to the x. Remember what k does is it takes an input and it takes the cosine of that input. So I'm taking cosine of e to the x. All right, that's our first composition. Now we're gonna swap the order. So I'm doing j of k of x. k of x is cosine. Remember that what j does is it takes e to the input. So j of something is e to that something. So what I have is e to the cosine of x. There we go, we've composed it both ways. Okay, so we've composed functions. I think you've probably done this before in a previous setting, but today we're going to practice decomposing functions too, and this might be a little new. So let's talk about what I mean by that. Let's say if h of x is the square root of tangent of x, what are two functions f and g such that h can be written as the composition of f with g, as f of g of x? So what we're basically asking here is to decompose h into two functions. We want to decompose it into a composition. So I'm seeing here that f could be the square root of x and g could be tangent of x. Let's check that this works. So we want h to be equal to the composition of f with g. So we have f of tangent of x. Remember that what f does is it takes the square root. It's the square root of x. So the square root of our something is square root of tangent, and we've done it successfully. So we can decompose square root of tangent of x into two functions, an outside function, square root of x, and an inside function, tangent of x. So we're gonna try this two more times. Let's say that y is equal to e to the power of negative four x to the ninth. Then what are two functions f and g such that y can be written as f of g of x? Remember, we're asking to decompose y and figure out functions f and g such that y is written as their composition. So why don't you pause, see what you can do, try to find the f function, the outside function, and the g function, the inside function. So I'm thinking that the f function, the outside function, is e to the x, or e to the something, and the inside function is that something. It's negative 4x to the ninth. So let's check that this works. We want y to be equal to the composition of f and g, or f of g of x. The g of x we picked is negative 4x to the ninth, so we're taking f of that. We chose f to be e to the x, so f of something is e to that something. 
So we have e to the power of negative 4x to the ninth, which is what we wanted. All right, let's do one more example where we try this out again. So let's say that a of x is 1 half times x to the fourth minus 5x plus 9 quantity squared. And we want to know what are two functions f and g such that a can be written as their composition, as f of g of x. So take a second, try this out for yourself, and see what you can come up with. We're looking for an outside function f and an inside function g. Okay, so I'm seeing that we have 1 half times something squared. So I'm going to pick my outside function as 1 half x squared. Then the inside part, the g that goes inside, is the x to the fourth minus 5x plus 9. So let's check that this works. We want a to be equal to f composed with g, f of g of x. So if we start on the inside, f of g is f of x to the fourth minus 5x plus 9. We chose f to be 1 half x squared, so we have f of something equals 1 half times that something squared. So for us, that's 1 half times the input, x to the fourth minus 5x plus 9, quantity squared, which is what we wanted. We got the a function we were looking for. All right, so that is our review of function composition. We can compose functions, put them together, and we can look at an already composed function and deconstruct it into the two functions it came from. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.